Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm a little too excited. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I filmed this easy, everyday glam look. I really like this look for when I'm going out, but I don't want to do too much makeup. I just want something nice and easy, but I still want to look put together and like I tried. So a winged liner and a bright lip, nude lip, whatever is my go-to everyday glam look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to be going in with the Mario Badescu Green Tea and Cucumber Spray, and I'm going to spray my face. Now I'm going to prime my face with the Kat Von D Hydrating Primer. I'm taking the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and putting that underneath my eyes. I really enjoy this brightening corrector because I feel like my under eyes can be really dull and I feel that that product really gives me the boost that it needs and especially applying it underneath foundation, I feel that it gives it a really just nice dewy look. So for today's foundation, I'm going to be taking Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Porcelain. I'm going to take one pump on my beauty blender. Put that all over my face. So for concealer, today I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I was walking through Super Drug today and they finally had it back in stock so I'm really excited to try it. I'm using the shade um, C3 so let's go ahead and test it out. I really like this concealer actually. It feels almost like the Tarte Shape Tape and it's pretty cheap so it's a really good deal. I'm just going to conceal the rest of my face. For setting powder today I'm going to be taking the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Plus. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be taking this. Okay, I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques contour brush to set that powder underneath my eyes. Also going to be taking that setting powder to set my eyes and the rest of my face. For bronzing powder today, I'm going to be taking the MAC uh, Bronzing Powder in Refined Golden and the MAC 135S brush. Okay, so I just want to define that cheekbone a little bit more. So I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Contour Palette and a, a MAC 137 brush and I'm going to be taking these two shades right here and just to um, define that cheekbone a little bit more. For blush today, I'm going to be taking Benefits Blush in Dallas and a MAC 168 brush. For eyebrows, I'm going to be taking Max Eyebrow Pencil in Lingering. To set those brows in place, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Oh. Okay, so for highlighter today, I'm going to be taking a Becca Highlighter in Opal. Just going to put that a little bit underneath the brow bone. Today's eye look, I'm keeping it very simple and just doing a winged liner. And I'm using Black Track by MAC. 
It is a nice little gel. And then I'm taking MAC 266 brush. So what I like to do is start applying the liner right in the middle of my eye and work my way out. Now let's hope that I can do this to that side. Those do not look the same. Oh. No! Wait, I fixed it. Once I'm done putting on the eyeliner, I like to go back in with a little bit more of the gel eyeliner and uh, darken it up a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm just going to be going in with engraved eyeliner by MAC. And I'm going to put this on the lower lash line. Just on the outer corner connecting to that wing. Not too far in the middle, just slightly on the outer corner so it brings it together. And then I'm going to be putting the eyeliner into my waterline. And I'm actually just going to tight line with engraved as well. So for this look, you can either add false lashes or just keep it simple with the mascara. I'm just going to keep it simple today and use my MAC and Extra Dimension mascara. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of mascara to the bottom eyelashes as well. Okay, so now I'm going to spray a little Fix Plus all over my face to set that all in. For this look, you can pretty much do any lip color that you want, whether that's going with a nude, going with a pop of color, going with gloss. This look can pretty much go with any lip color that you choose. It's something that's very neutral. It's a neutral look, so you can work anything with it, depending on how you feel for that day. Today, I'm feeling a bright color, so I'm going to go in with this MAC Liquid Lipstick in the shade Feels So Grand. I absolutely love this red. It is so bright. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bright red. I live for this color. It is just that perfect shade of red. What I really like about this lipstick as well is that it dries down so matte so quickly and it just feels so comfortable. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything on the lips. Alright guys, well that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also comment down below if you'd like to see anything else from me or just to simply say hi. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the little notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, that is it for today, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!